We are under one week away from Halloween Horror Nights opening here at Universal Orlando and we're back today with our weekly Halloween Horror Nights progress update. So much has changed versus when I was here last week. You didn't get to see what I saw last week. I know, it's been a, a few weeks since I've been here, so I'm really excited to see what they added. Right off the bat, the banner is out right in the front. There's a whole bunch of new props that have gone out in the scare zones. The tribute store is not open yet, but it's just a couple of days away. Yeah. Because Halloween Horror Nights opens this week, and the tribute store is gonna open really any day now. So we will definitely be back for that. But for today, we're gonna walk you guys around Universal once again, and check out the progress on Halloween Horror Nights. And right at the front entrance to Universal Studios Florida, there it is, the Halloween Horror Nights medallion. The last time I was here, I was hoping this was gonna be up, but it is up today. Select night, September 2nd to October 31st. We will be here, not opening night, but probably opening weekend to come and check out all of the spooks. They also have some of the house banners out at the front entrance as well, like the Universal Monsters Legends Collide. And then right over here, there's Michael Myers looming over the front entrance with the Halloween banner. And on the other side, they have the Weekend After Hours Nightmare, as well as the Horrors of Blumhouse. And there are two empty spots over here as well, but these are the only four IP houses. So I wonder if they're just gonna keep these four banners up or if they're gonna add anything over here at the end. So right when you walk underneath the arches to the left and to the right is where you can pick up your tickets or your vouchers or your annual passes. And a pro tip that we will give you guys is to make sure you have your tickets before you come to scan in because these lines can get pretty lengthy with everybody trying to pick up their tickets at will call. So make sure you have your ticket ahead of time, either pick it up the day of or the morning of so you don't have to wait in the lines with everybody else. I see where the pumpkin lord is gonna be. <laughs> I can see where his like little like throne is. <laughs> That's so exciting. Wow, they added so much since I've been here. Like so much. As we're making our way towards Despicable Me, you can see there is so much progress that has happened versus last week. This is where the Pumpkin Lord's gonna be. And check this out. This is where the icon for Halloween Horror Nights 31 himself is gonna be perched up on his throne. In just a couple of days, the Pumpkin Lord's gonna be up there. And who knows what he's gonna be doing. He's probably gonna be mic'd up so that he can talk to everybody as they walk in. That's gonna be so cool. Check out all the insides of the pumpkin over here. You can see all the, the pumpkin guts. And then he's got those little green bumps on it too. It's so cool. And even down here, there's a whole bunch of vines and kind of straw, hay, whatever you want to call it, with the vines. Isn't that awesome? It's so cool. They really like put so much detail into everything here. It's, it's gonna be awesome. I'm scared, but very excited to experience it for the first time. There's the witch's broom. That's really cool. Oh, look, look, there's a scarecrow. And all of those are in here in the front because Universal actually confirmed this on their podcast. This scare zone is gonna be kind of like a table of contents. So there's gonna be the scarecrow scare zone. So that's why there's a scarecrow over there. There's gonna be the conjure the dark with the witches. So that's why there's a witch's broom on there. It's really neat. Oh, and there's a witch's hat over here too, and a cauldron. This is so cool. Wow, I, I just wish we can go to Halloween Horror Nights right now <laughs> during the daytime. So now we are making our way deeper into the scare zone itself, and you can see they have another one of these props up. They got some pumpkins. Oh, and there's the, the gravestone with the shovel. So that is for the graveyard scare zone. It's really neat how they kind of incorporate everything into this main hub area so you can kind of get a little little bit of a sample as to what you can expect throughout the rest of the event. So something else that wasn't here last week when we were here were these fences. And this fence, as you can see, has the 31 that's carved into it. Kind of has a double meaning. Of course, it is Halloween Horror Nights 31, but it's also October 31st. And this is a traditional Halloween scare zone. And it's so scary that they're currently use, utilizing it for Minion Stroller parking. Here's the back side of the wooden fence over here. There's a couple strollers in here right now, but you can definitely guarantee that there's gonna be scare actors that are popping out of here once Halloween Horror Nights comes about. Here's another one. It's so cool, I just love the green vines. Like the orange and the green, it's so traditional Halloween and I just absolutely love it. And they added a whole bunch of netting up here too. It just looks so good over here. And you know it's gonna look even better at nighttime because it's only the daytime right now. It's not lit up, but this is gonna look awesome. There's another scarecrow over here on top of this 
staging platform as well. You got some pumpkins. And then just like in the other one, there's a scarecrow that's kind of stuck in the stone there. Of course, there are dozens and dozens of pumpkins here, all with individual faces, but none more popular than the king himself, Lil Boo. There's just so much detail, it's, it's awesome. And I'm excited to see it at night because I'm sure these are all going to be like lit up and glowing. So that'll be really cool. And the last prop that they've added here as you exit the scare zone is a nod to Sweet Revenge over in New York. You can see there's all the lollipops and the, the candies up there on the jars. That's so awesome. Check out these masks. So in addition to all the props that they put out for HHN, they've also started to put out the menus. And over here at Music Plaza, here's a look at all of the alcoholic beverages that are going to be available, as well as some of the snacks at the Carnitas Arepas, which is spell cauldron stew and this mozzarella arepas. Now over here in Music Plaza, just last night, Maroon 5 was right there on that stage. They had a private event. Uh, it wasn't private, you could have bought a ticket to it, but Maroon 5 did a concert after hours here at Universal. And now, all the stanchions are up. Overnight, they started to put up the guardrails for the queue because there will be a house entrance over here. So things are moving very, very quickly with HHN just a few days away. So as we're making our way towards New York, we're walking past the Monsters Cafe and they've already done a good amount of demolition. It looks like the front has been completely removed and that's all we can see with the blue construction walls there, but they're moving fast on taking this down. So we came across another two food boots. This is the one that has like all the, you know, paranormal ghosts and stuff over there, up there on the windows. And the menu is out over here at Gramercy Park. Here is the alcoholic beverages and their prices. And then they are bringing back the No Chance in Hell PB&J, but it's like more than double the price than it was last year. This is $14.99. I believe it was six and change last year. So I wonder if it's gonna be bigger, yes. what's gonna be different about it to justify the price increase. But they also have fried Twinkies, and fried Oreos as well, along with your typical standard collection of soda and water. And as we were showing you guys those menus, a team member walked by and he stopped us and he said, I just wanna let you guys know the price for the PB&J is wrong. It is not $14.99. He confirmed that it is gonna be $9.99. So it's a little bit more expensive than last year, but it's not that substantial price increase that we just showed you guys. So look for that menu to be changed. And he was a culinary team member, so I definitely trust his uh, opinion, but it's good to know. So the PB&J is not $14.99, it's gonna be $9.99 here at HHN. They also have the bar basically fully set up that is right next to Transformers. It's the Transformers extended queue. And over here, there is a menu that we can zoom in and give you a closer look at some of the items that are gonna be here at the Transformers bar. And over here in this area, there is another food booth, and here's a look at their menu. They have a signature drink over here. Of course, your canned beverages, and then the snacks, they have this haunted horseshoe, which actually looks really good. open face burger on garlic Texas toast, jalapeno bacon, pork belly, fries and cheese. That looks really good. And then they also have this killer stove top popcorn custard for $6.99. I find this really funny because there's like Halloween Horror Nights food booths right over here. And then right next to it is the Christmas store. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that. You can experience two holidays at the exact at, same time. At the same time, yeah. And over in this little alleyway that is directly across from the entrance to Revenge of the Mummy, there are the two food booths that we showed you in our last video with the Vecna victim over there on the door. But the menus are out here as well. So let's take a look at the alcoholic drinks. Pretty standard. And then this is also where you can get your Twisted Tater. So they have the Fiery Twisted Tater with Queso for $9.99, the Twisted Tater Blood and Guts, and then the Twisted Tater where you can choose your seasoning for $8.99. This stuff looks good over here. So they have a spicy turkey and squash bun. Spicy ground turkey with butternut squash filled steamed bun. That's like a weird combination, but sounds good and then Florida Bay seasoned funnel fries with creamy crab dip Ooh, that sounds good Ooh, that sounds good and then also they have the major sweets ice cream sandwich since we're right by that scare zone zombie candy corn sugar cookie filled with vanilla ice cream 
I actually might have to try that. I know you're not a fan of candy corn. No. But I love candy corn. <laughs> also, we're not, you guys know, we don't really drink that much, but this drink actually sounds really good. It's a pumpkin ginger snap punch. That's like something that I feel like I would like. Yeah, I was gonna say, you would definitely like that. I might try it. Dark rum, pumpkin puree, ginger, and cinnamon syrup. Lemon juice, orange juice, it sounds good. Yeah, looks pretty good. And there's a picture of it right there. And here's a look at the third food booth menu. Check out their signature drink, which is Bog Slime to the sequel. And then they also have a couple of snacks over here, like pepperoni pizza skulls. That sounds interesting. And Lil Boo's Spicy Pumpkin Bun. So our next Scare Zone update is going to bring us over to the Major Sweets Candy Company and Sweet Revenge. There are a number of things that are in the Scare Zone that we did not see the last time we were here, and I'm excited to show you them. Here are some of the new things. So this was the candy cart that we showed you that had all the candy on it last time, and now there's a tarp covering this. So again, if you missed our last update, tarp means that there's some sort of a gory body or something underneath there that they can't see during the day. And then over here, also on the lollipop stand, there's a body here. And this is pretty lengthy, so I can only imagine what's underneath here. But again, we don't have to wait that much longer. Just a couple of days and these tarps will be off during the nighttime. Also over here, right by Sweet Revenge, is the tribute store. And the signage is up. And this is going to open any day because HHN starts on Friday, September 2nd. So it's really any day now that this is going to open but it looks like they added a little bit more weathering to the front of it make it look a little bit more old but honestly versus the last time we we're here not too much new other than the fact that they put the tribute store sign right in the front so that is basically all that's new over in the sweet revenge scare zone just wanted to call out revenge of the mummy still not open yet So the next food area that we're coming up on is the meats locker, and it's really cool. The last time we were here, I don't think we showed it in the last video, but it's very, very well themed. And here's a look at the meats, meats menu, and some of it's a little disturbing, like <laughs> fried zombie brains, spicy fried chicken. Fresh ground princess. Fresh ground princess, oh look at that. That's just what you wanna eat, right? Fresh ground princess. Sour beating gummy heart. It sounds disgusting. <laughs> Did you see they have a Bloody Mary though? Yeah, that sounds good. It's probably it's just a traditional Bloody Mary, but looks good. And here's a closer look at the meats meats stand. You can see they have all the meat hanging up over here, and then down here in these cases, they got all sorts of meats. Now the question is, what kind of meat is this? Is it human meat? Also back over here, there is meats drinks. And the specialty cocktail, like Alex was saying, is the Bloody Mary, but they also have a beer, as well as White Claws, Modelo's, Bud Light, and soda and water. So we just wanted to pop into Louie's real quick because this is where the Scare Actor Dining is gonna be taking place. And they started to put out some of the props. And you can see that they have the Halloween banner right here, of course, with the famous pumpkin, which means there's more than likely gonna be a Michael Myers photo op right over here as part of the Scare Actor dining experience. And in full honesty, I don't really have much of a desire to do the Scare Actor dining experience this year just because I don't think the food that's gonna be served at Louis is really gonna be that good to make it worth $55 per person. But if they add some cool characters in there, it might make me do it. Like that Michael Myers photo op would be pretty epic. So I'm curious to see who else they're gonna have in there. We are now making our way into the San Francisco area, which is gonna be the Conjure the Dark Scare Zone coming up. But we came across another food booth. And here's a look at the menu. Let's see what kind of snacks they're gonna have here. They have the Sacrificial Remains Mac and Cheese Bowl with chorizo sausage fingers and the Burnt Offering Mac and Cheese Bowl which is white cheddar mac and cheese topped with a pork skewer. And we are approaching the Conjure the Dark Scare Zone, and they've added these like larger than life, kind of looks like broomsticks. I, I'm gonna say this is a broomstick because it has like the top, and then there's the, the bottom. But this looks really cool. They got some more trees over here as well that they've added to make it a little bit more spooky. And check out this cool table. It's got some skulls in it. There's like a bird cage of some sort a mallet over here there's another skull i don't know what that is it's some sort of creature 
So I wonder if there's going to be things other than witches in this scare zone, because that skull isn't a witch, and then this animal over here certainly isn't a witch. So I wonder if we're going to see things maybe other than witches. And on the other side of the giant broom prop, here's a boo hole. So this is where one of the scare actors is going to be popping out of. So just when you walk in, just when you think you're safe, you're not. <laughs> Someone's going to be popping right out of there. And there is another one as well. This is just so well detailed. It's so cool. Like I just love all the vines and everything. But there's another boo hole right there. So maybe a witch, maybe some sort of other creature. But just check out all like the detail that's on this, like this skull right here. I love how they added like all these little touches. Like there's part of some sort of a skeleton. And they also added a few more props in front of the stage over here. Like this wasn't here last week, this structure. And it has some more of that writings and inscriptions on it. Look at all the bones that are down here just decaying. And they also added a few more details to this stage. They painted this door, so the door got a nice paint job and they added a whole bunch of like shrubbery and branches and vines over here as well. It's gonna look so cool. And there's an entrance for one of these scare actors to come in and out of. Looks like there's one on the other side as well, along with this giant tarp. So will we be seeing some sort of like a sacrifice or something going on on the stage? That's kind of my inkling, but we will see. There's some more set dressing that they've done in this area. They've added a lot here. None of this was here just a few days ago, so this looks great. They got some more skulls. Oh, this is so cool. I just can't wait to see all of these sets at nighttime. So I'm glad I'm coming now because it's preparing me to know where I'm gonna get scared at. Like I know where the boo holes are and I know where they step on the pedals. So maybe that'll make me feel better. <laughs> we'll see. So over here at Lombard's patio, we showed you this bar as they were building it last week and they put the menus out and they're gonna have a specialty beverage, actually two specialty beverages. One's gonna be the poison snake bite they're also going to have a premium cocktail along with some drafts on tap and then the canned beverages which are like the standard canned beverages that we've seen basically at every uh, drink stand. The bar that we were just looking at was right over there but if you keep coming back like if that line is too long there's two more bars back here as well on this patio so three bars just in this one area so plenty of places to get drinks. So this food booth was the one that was and still is the glorious thing that we've seen so far here with HHN updates but over here by Springfield this is going to be a Chucky themed food booth and there's a look at the specialty drink which is the Dirty Valentine and then they also have the Good Guys Burger for $10.99. And there's a look at that. It looks like it has some like fruit loops on top. So over here directly across from Central Park is the Scarecrow food booth. And it looks like this menu over here is the Twisted Taters again. So there's two different places you can get Twisted Taters, or at least two. They have all the different ones with the seasonings that you can choose. The Blood and Guts Twisted Tater, and then the Fiery Twisted Tater with Queso. And back over by the SpongeBob store, there are two food booths. That one doesn't have a menu yet. But this one does. Kid Zone menu is pretty small, but it does have the garlic Philly cheesesteak. And then the specialty beverage is the Tinseltown Terror, which is a bourbon based drink. It looks pretty good. There's a photo of it right there. And again, just like all the other ones, your usual canned beverages. I feel like this is going to be scary because it's so narrow and people are most definitely popping out of this. Oh, things. 100%. So we're approaching the Scarecrow Scare Zone right now, and this is, if you're coming from like Men in Black, this is where your entrance is gonna be. But yeah, someone's definitely gonna be in there for sure. And there is a speaker right next to this little like barn door with like a moon on the front. So someone's either gonna just be popping their face out of the moon, or the whole door is gonna come swinging open. I'm not sure if that's really good for uh, safety purposes. There's a speaker here, so something's gonna be going on. And then this is really awesome. It's like this old frame of like a carriage of some sorts. You can see the wheels are over there, but it's so cool. It just really has that like old tiny barn type of a feel. There's all sorts of like debris in there. Here is another boo hole over here. It's not so much a boo hole because it's pretty open, but there's a speaker down there so someone's definitely be coming out of here as well and what is probably the main part of this scare zone over here and they started to construct it it's gonna be a barn it's gonna be a full-size barn and you're gonna have to walk through the barn now we don't know obviously what's gonna be inside the Universal Creative team did say if you came here and you didn't want to do a house 
they're going to make you do one anyway because you have to walk through this giant barn. This might be a little hard to make out on video because it's backlit right now, but they have a scarecrow over here that's fully constructed. That's awesome. And there's like a whole bunch of like cans hanging from his arms. So spooky. And here's a closer look at the bottom piece of the barn facade. You can see it's kind of like your standard red barn, a lot of weathering on it over here. And then there's platforms up here. So I wonder what's gonna be going on up above because there's clearly gonna be things happening up high and then things also happening down low over here as well. And if you're coming from the opposite direction, they have this old weathered car that's placed directly in front of the barn. And I think there's a speaker in here, if I saw it correctly, yeah. There's a speaker right in here. So I wonder if someone's gonna be sitting in this car. That'd be pretty neat. And the next food booth that's right next to Cafe La Bamba, as well as the Scarecrow Scare Zone, is over here. And let's take a look at their menu. They have a few different drinks that aren't featured at the other locations, as well as a whole bunch of Spanish, Mexican-inspired eats and treats. And also over here by this water fountain, they have it fully decorated as well. So I'm not sure if this is just gonna be more of like a photo op opportunity. It looks like it's kind of set up as like an ofrenda, but it's pretty neat. I wonder if this is just gonna be kind of just like a nice photo op or if something else is gonna be going on. And we are gonna pop over into Studio Styles now because it is annual pass holder appreciation month and there is a brand new magnet. So let's go pick up our AP magnet. All right, so we just picked up the new annual pass holder magnet for this month and it's based on the mummy. So here's what it looks like. <laughs> All you have to do is go into the store, they scan your um, annual pass, and then you can get them. So we're making our way now into Graveyard Deadly Unrest, and just kind of from the looks of it, it looks basically the same as it did last week. Maybe they added a couple more small details here and there, but the last time we were here, we did see basically everything as is with all the trees and the sticks and the spider webs, but it looks fantastic. Brew and the minions are coming out, <laughs> I think. But I just can't believe, like, they added so much and this is getting me like very excited, which I know you're probably surprised because I am very scared to come, but like I'm very excited to experience it. They just, I know that they do such a good job. Um, so I'm just, I'm excited to experience it. I'm not promising you that I'm going in all the houses though. So maybe some, I will go through the scare zones, but the houses, maybe only a handful. And once again, here's a look at the front entrance to Nettlewood Cemetery. And on the Discover Universal podcast, the creative team was talking about how there's gonna be two giant gatekeepers that are here as you walk into the scare zone. So that's gonna be really cool. I wonder if they're gonna be like as tall as the gate, but it's gonna be really creepy. So look for two really big gatekeepers over here as you make your way into the cemetery. All right, so that is gonna do it for this HHN 31 update video. We got to see a lot of cool new things today. Mm -hmm. A lot of props are out, and like we said, HHN is literally just a few days away now. I'm so excited. I'm so excited too. I'm so glad I got to come today to see all the extra things that they put out, all the detail that went into it. I'm so excited to experience it for the first time. I know, me too. And we will be back here once more this week. Once the Tribute Store opens, we'll come out and we'll take you guys through the Tribute Store, show you what that's looking like for HHN. But the update videos are going to wind down. That's probably going to be the last one before we actually go for the very first time. Yeah. And like we said, we are so excited for spooky season here in Orlando. So if you enjoyed coming along with us today, make sure you give the video a nice big thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on all of our Halloween Horror Nights videos upcoming this season. And with that being said, we'll see you guys real soon.